Hey guys, I'm Big D. This is the Microsoft Band. Welcome to Geek Feed. Hey guys, this is my first wearable that I've used. The only reason I haven't used a wearable before is because nothing has been compatible with a Windows phone up to this point. So I'm super excited. Start, starting off with the design, it's got a slick look. We've had, we have a, a, a really nice uh, shiny screen. There are only two buttons that are located on the band. In terms of, of, of wearing the band, I, I've found it's kind of rigid. It's, it's, really, it's, it's not really something that uh, conforms to your wrist like other wearables, but it does fit well. The band is actually sized by the height of your wrist, not actually by the diameter or the circumference of your wrist, which I thought was kind of interesting. I found that wearing the band down is actually easier for me because notifications and other information that display on the watch are really hard to read when the watch is on the upside of my wrist. All the text uh, goes on the horizontal edge of the screen over here, therefore it's, it's kind of difficult to see, see things when I have to rotate my wrist over, it's, I've kind of, I kind of get myself into an awkward position. The band comes in any color you want, as long as it's black. As I said earlier, the, the way it's sized is actually by your wrist height. So that it comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, for sizing information, you can check that out on the Microsoft site and in the show notes. Software is compatible with Windows Phone, iOS, and Android. So it's the first wearable that really reaches out to to everyone or every major smartphone, smartphone platform uh, and gives everyone an equal opportunity at using the same feature set. There is one that you only get with Windows Phone though. In terms of the screen, Microsoft includes an InvisiShield screen protector so you can protect the screen. I noticed that before I put the screen protector on, it was a little bit soft and it, it scratched a little bit easily, but as soon as I put the screen protector on, all problems were solved. In terms of the design, we have two control buttons, a power button and then a multifunction button that controls in-application features like starting the stopwatch, starting your sleep tracking, and uh, reviewing notifications. The Microsoft Band is the first fitness wearable on the market that we've seen that really is focused on, on fitness. Among the main features are a, a pedometer and a heart rate monitor. Uh, the pedometer tracks the num obviously the number of steps you've taken per day and the heart rate monitor actually uses electrodes and light to check your heart rate. This allows you to, to focus on your daily health and to see how much activity you've had or maybe if you need to get up away from your desk and walk around a little bit. Obviously, sitting is not the best thing, you, best thing for your health. So among the things that you, you'll see in the Microsoft Band are kind of the run-of-the-mill things that any smartwatch will have these days. Text message notifications, email notifications, alerts on missed phone calls or incoming calls. You can even respond to these incoming calls with a predefined text message. Same thing with the emails um, and, and, and incoming te text messages. Of course, the thing that you only can get with the Microsoft uh, Windows Phone app is Cortana. Cortana allows you to get updates on your daily traffic commute, lets you know when your appointments are, are coming up, lets you know how long it's gonna take you to get to that next meeting you have. So one of the great things about the Microsoft Band is its fitness tracking abilities. Obviously, we already said it has the pedometer and the heart rate monitor, but what else can you do with it? One of the things that's built into the native application are workouts from Gold's Gym and Microsoft. These workouts have everything from squatting, uh, sit-ups, push-ups, uh, short runs, and other things like that for training for 5Ks and even 10Ks. There's a fitness workout plan for everyone. There are daily workouts from you know a five to 10 minute workout, some as even short as four minutes. And they have long-term fitness programs as well that you can engage in. For the running enthusiast, you'll be sa satisfied to know that this watch actually includes a built-in GPS. It improves your distance tracking, it lets you know what your pace and time are, and your heart rate while you're, do while you're in the middle of a run during workouts. It'll also allow you to review those workouts later, see where you ran, what your heart rate was, was like, what your pace was like, and and really dig into uh, to see how, how well you, your run, run went and to improve on it later. I've been running for years with, with a Garmin Forerunner and with other fitness tracking, uh, GPS tracking devices, but I was kind of disappointed to see that there's no lap counting in the Microsoft Band. There were for the predefined workouts, but there weren't for uh, just the standard run uh, computer that, that tracks your run with the GPS. So on battery life, this has excellent battery life. I've noticed that I get about two days of usage before I have to recharge it. But there's one thing, you have to put it in sleep mode at night. A couple days ago, I was really tired. I was up late at night working on a project and I got in and I forgot to set the watch in sleep mode. 
I woke up the next morning to find that the band was dead. So that was a little disappointing, but that being said, sleep mode is one of the great things that this, this device offers. It allows me to track and see how well my sleep went, if I was in deep sleep, if I was being a little bit restless, or if I woke up tossing and turning at night. And also, for the first time in my life, I figured out what my resting heart rate was. So the Microsoft Band will charge and give you about a day's usage with about 30, with a 35 to 40 minute charge, but for a full charge, which for me gets me about two days, it'll take about an hour and a half. Charging is a little bit tricky with this guy. Uh, the, the charger, if you can see in here, uses a proprietary cable, which I'm not super excited about. But the good thing is it's water resistant and that doesn't get, it, it protects the internal components and that's the most important thing. The cable is actually right here and it, uh, it actually uses a magnet to snap on to the back of the band. So it, it's pretty easy to use. The only thing that I kind of wish you could do is was charge it maybe while you're wearing it, but obviously that can get a little weird. Uh, the Pebble watch was able to do that with a similar magnet uh, type charger. All right, so some of you know I'm a weather geek, so knowing what the weather's like is always really important. I can get the forecast, the current weather conditions, the forecast for the next couple days. It's awesome. I'm, I'm always up on, on track with the weather and I don't have to take my phone out. One of the things that's really neat, Microsoft actually will give you a $5 Starbucks gift card when you buy the Microsoft Band. You can actually use the Starbucks gift card with the Band and actually uh, get your Starbucks card loaded up on the band and use it for payments at any Starbucks location. That's pretty neat. So among the other tiles you can load up on the device include Stocks, Facebook, the messaging app, and Twitter. Some of the things that I wish were in the band included uh, maybe an NFC tag that I could scan to automatically put my watch to in sleep mode when I go to bed. One of the things that some of the other competitors like Garmin are doing in the market right now is actually allowing you to be competitive with your friends by adding social features into the fitness tracking program where you can see your routes of other friends of common running trails or to compete with each other on maybe with, if you're training for a 5K across the country or across the world, it doesn't matter where you are. You can train independently but, but compete with each other from a distance. So Microsoft has said that they're gonna actually eventually add some feedback into your into your daily health to let you know maybe if you're getting stressed out from meetings with your boss and ways to work around that. But some of the other fitness things that we're, we're hoping to see eventually would be maybe custom workouts, the ability to compete with friends and uh, add some peer pressure accountability. I'd love to see an NFC trigger that I can set in my phone to automatically put the Microsoft Band into sleep mode to prevent those unwanted dead batteries in the morning when I wake up. Guys, I'm very happy with the Microsoft Band. It's the first real wearable from Microsoft. It has a lot under the hood, and with future updates, it has a lot of potential. The Microsoft Band is available in store, Microsoft stores and from Microsoft.com for $199. Check the show notes below and leave me a comment. I'm Big D73. I'm clear. On today's holiday gift guide, we're giving you all kinds of ideas for what to give somebody. Raspberry Pi has been the hit of the hacker slash makerspace community. It's a so tiny... I thought, you know what? Let's make today's episode a behind the scenes update.